Hey guys, Dave here with Outdoor to the Core. Thank you for joining us on this hunt today. It was obviously a very special hunt for me with two good buddies there, one friend from Tennessee that flew over and filmed everything for me. So big thanks to Matt. When I figured out I got drawn for Wyoming, I was stoked. It took a couple days to to sink in that I'd actually drew the tag. I didn't have any points or anything. Just was hoping to get lucky with the random draw. And after I drew the Wyoming tag, the Idaho results came out shortly after. And a bunch of my friends were getting drawn for stuff over here. And this was one of 13, I think, around 13 hunts that I hoped to go on this fall. So my time ended up getting really limited. I was gonna go over there and um, you know, do it myself. I ended up booking with the outfitter over there due to lack of time and also I'm a guide myself. I used to, I grew up a do-it-yourselfer and after becoming a guide, it's, you know, we spend so much time out there. We know the country, we know the animals as, as good as we possibly can and I got no trouble asking for help, especially with a tag in my pocket like this. So we headed, the day finally come, and we headed down for Wyoming, drove 16 hours. So the first morning of our hunt, we drive out to the spot where he had seen this big one a few times. He had him patterned a little bit. And we were watching some other bucks. It was just, just getting daylight, still pretty dark. And my buddy Lowell spots him, and no question it's him. He's out across the field there. And we were gonna try to catch him between, you know, his feeding and his bedding area. Once he got to his bedding area, it was in the river bottom there. And the grass is too high, the willows are too thick. I, there's just really no way to get in on him, and it's hard to even find him. So we booked it back, got in the creek bed, got in position, I came up and was looking and I'm trying to get my bearings exactly on where I thought he was going to come across. And I didn't see anything, so I came back down. And Matt's um, getting ready to film behind me and he says, there he is, 150 yards coming hard. And so I'm trying to get my crossbow all cocked and everything. I pulled 200 pounds back like it was nothing. But I had trouble, I was shaking so bad I couldn't get the bolt in on the end. Finally got it in like seconds later he said he's coming 100 yards swiveled around, I think I broke every stick underneath the trees that we were hiding behind. And when I came up, I could see the top of his rack and he just had us pegged. I told Matt not to move. We could not move for a while and he busted and my heart sank. I mean, you could have scooped it up off of the ground with a spatula. It was, I mean, buck of a lifetime and we had blown it. You can get him there. I busted down the creek bottom, went went down to try to intercept him. And when I come up, I got, while he wasn't paying attention, I got in position and he was, he was coming across at 67 yards, you know, roughly, that's when I ranged him the one time, and started coming in like straight at him.
can get him. Hit him, so I'm done. I'm done one way or another. Where? See the blood right here. I just. He went down immediately after we. I mean, immediately. Okay. Let me uh um, <laughs> pick that thing. Wow. Oh, oh yeah, right there. Wow. I mean at least smile. That's eight and three quarter. Oh, I'm not gonna lie I to mean, you. That's a two that's a close it has gotta be a good inch deer. I've never even seen one I'm just like saying this. that them front forks. I come down. I come down here hoping to see a 180. I mean, just to see one. Wow. I walk back. I don't know, man. I just don't know. Can you? three-quarter bases five and a half inches it's got good mass push pelvic I guess yeah but still does we go four and three-quarter five and a half 
183 and a half plus 21.5 is 2.05. Well, after we got the buck all taken care of, we took it easy for a little while. I tried to take a nap. I was whooped from the day before, and that wasn't going to happen. I didn't sleep that night either, really. <laughs> but we, uh, we jumped in with the guide that afternoon and drove all over, and we're checking out critters in the country and just a very enjoyable time. Your mind is clearer than before. Your heart is full and wanting more. Your future's at the door. Give it all you got. No hesitating. You've been waiting all your life. This is your moment.